let us talk about hematite. I'm going to show you, show you two different samples of hematite here, uh, kind of a silvery one and then kind of the reddish one. Uh, the hardness of hematite really varies. Uh, the kind of earthier, reddish, rusty looking color uh, is much softer while uh, the silvery metallic hematite is much harder, uh, approaching the hardness of glass, but this shouldn't be able to, uh, to scratch glass. Uh, yeah, didn't, didn't really do it there. You can kind of see I wiped that right off. Uh, the neat thing about hematite is despite its color and its, whether it's metallic or non-metallic, uh, it will still have a reddish brown streak. Look at that. It's like the same color or really close to it. So that's kind of the way you tell metallic uh, hematite. There are other minerals uh, that we have that look like this. Magnetite can look like this. Uh, what else can look like this? Um, graphite can kind of look like this. There's there's a couple other minerals that we, you don't normally look at in standard geology classes. But uh, the, the real good tell for this is that nice reddish brown streak. Um, and if you, I mean, really, like, I can find a piece of magnetite and a piece of shiny hematite that uh, look almost identical. In fact, there's some in our classroom where I can't, I really can't tell them apart. Uh, they have a really similar chemical formula. They're both iron oxides. Uh, so no silicates in this, no SiO2, just, just, uh, just iron and oxygen. Um, let's see, actually, I might, I might have one over here. Let's see if I can find another piece of hematite. So this, here's another piece of hematite. It's not as flashy as this one, but it's still metallic hematite. Uh, but it's not, uh, it's not magnetite. This I wouldn't be able to take a magnet to this. Let's see if I can get a piece of magnetite. This is a piece of magnetite. Look how similar those are. Man, that looks like the same mineral. They're about the same weight. Do I have a magnet sitting around anywhere? should. A good geologist always has a magnet sitting around. Let's get one off the fridge. Okay, I got a little neodymium magnet here that was sitting on the fridge. And, uh, boop. There you go. Magnetite. Does it stick to this one? Nope. Does not stick to that one. It's almost like it's trying to hold on, though. I have heard that there is some hematite that's barely magnetic, and this is a really powerful uh, magnet, a rare earth magnet. But yeah, so there you go. Uh, a little magnet can really, really help you out uh, if you're trying to tell the difference between hematite and magnetite. What's this over here? This looks really similar. Boop. Magnetite. So, that is uh, hematite.